Welcome! In front of me is a CMF Phone One, and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Before I get started, I am going to quickly mention that this process will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Now, I know that something, sometimes it might happen, maybe your child set, out, set it up. Uh, so, if you don't know it, don't worry, you can get rid of it. Though, I want to put this caveat in. Uh, usually, that will mean that after the reset, obviously, you lose all the data, that's one. And number two, uh, you will also need to verify uh, the previously logged in Google account on the device, which... Uh, obviously, if there was one. If there wasn't one, then you most likely won't need to verify anything. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the two things. And uh, third thing that I'm going to mention is for people that don't know either one of those, uh, which might happen, um, there is a way to get rid of this kind of verification. So you first bypass it and then completely remove it. And you can do this yourself. It, it doesn't cost anything or anything like that, so don't worry. Uh, the only thing that it requires, uh, which we did record this kind of, or at least I did record this kind of bypass, as it's called, uh, for different device. But it's one using the emergency line, so you just kind of use the 112 uh, number as a, or 9, 911 as an emergency line uh, to access specific uh, feature on Android. So you'd kind of need to dial that number up. Uh, I do want to kind of clarify this. So. If you're gonna be looking for a video like that for the bypass, um, it might be with a different device as I'm not really recording recording this with every new phone, as I just don't want to call the 9, uh, 911 for no reason, uh, as it's not really an emergency to do a bypass. So there's one made uh, which works basically with every device as it works the same. Anyway, so to get started with the actual reset, uh, I'm gonna lock the device. I don't have a screen lock, but obviously it works the same way if you do. You'd hold power button and volume up, and this brings up your boot options. And from here you wanna select power off. When the device turns off, hold power button and volume up again. And in a moment, we should have there we go. Boot mode open, and in here, using only volume up to navigate through the options, you want to select the first option, which is recovery mode. So press volume up till that arrow jumps all the way to the top, and then press volume down to confirm it. In a moment, you will see the Android with no command, or just Android here, there is no writing under it, there we go. You want to hold power button and press volume up once, and this will redirect you to the recovery mode. And here, you can use both volume buttons to navigate, and you want to use those in order to select wipe data factory reset as it's selected right now once it is press power button to confirm it and select factory data reset it will begin wiping the data at the bottom you should see data wipe complete though it is cut out a little bit by the curvature of the screen uh, but yeah, it's finished and also once it is reboot system now is selected by default so press power button to confirm the reboot, which will continue resetting the device in the background. Now, because it is continuing, it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. Don't worry, that's completely normal. Once it's finished, we will then be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.